Things are about to get real. Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do you a quick video on um, the box I made to carry my quad around. Now I don't have one of these fancy expensive cases <clears throat> and I, I wanted it as small and as light as possible. And I've had a few people mention it when I've been out and about and a few people mentioning it on my other videos that I thought I'd, I'd show you how to make one. Now this um, box here was made for my ZMR. So it's obviously, because they're, they're made to measure, so it's no good for this one. Uh, this is my new build, um, and this is an MRM225. But uh, I thought I'd bring it down and show you, so you can get an idea of how you're going to go about doing this. Now, the box itself is made out of, um, it's coated, it's a 3mm MDF board. The foam on the inside is a camp bed foam, it's 8mm. So that's lined all the way on the inside. Um, I've got a strap in the centre to hold it as well. I mean, you don't need this strap, but I've put that in for a, a little bit of added insurance. Um, that's just slotted through the bottom, obviously, because it's an inch webbing, slightly bigger than an inch slot. Nice and slim. Feed it through with a bit of Velcro. So when your quad's in there with its battery, just put that on, it's a bit of added insurance. And, but it's not going to move in there anyway, and I'll tell you why now. Because um, when, when I put my ZMR in, I put it to the side like that, and as I bring it down, the arms on this side are actually hugging the foam as it goes in. So you could literally put it in, turn it upside down, and it wouldn't even fall out, regardless of having the strap on or not. So what you want to do to get that is uh, measure the tight width of your quad. And I mean dead tight. Don't add a little bit extra on, get it tight. Uh, so what you want to do is a width of your quad, and because the the camp bed foam is eight millimeters, add sixteen millimeters to that, and that will give you your side width. Because your side width once your your foam's on will be perfect then. So when it goes in, it will hug. Um what else is there? Oh yeah, obviously because um the wood's quite thin, and this has got no glue, no screws in or anything. Um, I wanted a lid that hinged, so what I've done, I've used the Velcro straps, and just cut little slots through top and bottom, notched out the foam, and that'll give me a nice, well, I'm not gonna lose my lid now, am I? So, it's a great little box to take off from as well, so if, you know, if your ground's wet and you don't wanna put your quad in the mud, and take off from there. Now, another thing that I need to mention before I get on, uh, I've got aluminium angled corner pieces. Now, if you look at mine, you can see they are slightly proud, and it's the same on the bottom. And the reason why I've done that is when when the lid shuts, <coughs> it sits proud in there, and it does exactly the same on the bottom. Right, here's one of my aluminium pieces now. So if I was to stick that on, once you put the, the bottom piece on, it's flush. So that's how you want to work out your length of that. So it's the length of your aluminium piece would be your width plus that thickness twice. And it's all good to go. I've got my uh, pieces cut ready. Got my two side pieces, the other side pieces and my top and bottom. Got my aluminium all ready to go. Uh, double sided tape so what I'm going to do now I'll put it together or put a bit of it together and show you as I'm going along what I'm actually doing wood itself cost me about three quid and it was a, a three foot length you could make two out of that um, the aluminium strip was a three foot long strip that was about two pound so oh and the camp bed foam was it a fiver for a, a full length roll? So, um, you know, you're making this little box for under a tenner. And it's nice and light, it will fit in all of your rucksacks. It really is small. I haven't got my tape measure on me, but that's that's just a fraction over 12 inches. This one is going to be about 11 and 3 quarter inches long. And I think it's it was 8 and 5 eighths width. So it is really, really small. And it's you know, adequate protection for in your rucksack. 
you know, obviously you can't go, st well, I probably could stand on it to be fair, but I wouldn't want to do that. Because it's quite small and compact, it, it gives it a bit more strength again. Obviously if these were, you know, longer pieces, they'd be very bendy, but uh, because as they're short, they, they become quite stiff and strong again. But when it's all together, with the tape around the bottom, it's uh, really strong. I mean, you can actually put, if you wanted to, your aluminium on the bottoms as well, if you wanted, on the bottom edges. Uh, it's, start, it's starting to add more weight to make it a bit more bulkier. <clears throat> I mean, it's fine as it is, just with the corner pieces. But whatever you want to do, really, it's a nice, cheap, simple solution. And you haven't got to worry about damaging your quad. <clears throat> and the beauty is, you know, you're not taking your props on and off all the time. You know, just put it straight in with your props on. Jobs are good. Right, so I'll set it all up. I'll, I'll build a little bit and then um, we'll take it from there. Cheers, guys. FPV is the shit. Hi, guys. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this quickly now. I've stuck foam on three of the side pieces. Uh, I've still got one to do. Now, with the the smaller sides, you actually want to put your foam right to the edge. Again, I've stuck this on with double-sided tape. So it's flush with the bottom, flush with the sides, leaving the gap at the top for when you have your lid on with the foam on the bottom of it, so it'll sit in there nice. Now with the longer side piece, you've got to have a cutout of the foam on each side as well. And that's because when you put it together, it goes like that. So this will actually slot in. So what you want to do is, when you've got the, the length of your, your longest piece, take off that width times two, and that will give you your size for this piece of foam. you just got to make sure you stick it exactly in, right in place, because uh, the only downside of using double-sided tape, once it's on, it's uh, not going to move, so when the aluminium goes on that as well, that will really sturdy it up. And having this thick foam on the inside as well gives it a, a larger surface area to bond to, so it really does make it strong, especially when you've got all the four pieces done with your four corner pieces on. What finalises the strength is when you've got your bottom piece and that slots in between your aluminium sections with the foam on the bottom as well, so it'll all slot inside this. That's that's when it really sturdies up. So uh, I shall carry on and do the next bit for you. Cheers. One more little tip. <clears throat> when you've cut your foam to the size that you want, and when you've stuck it on with double-sided tape, sometimes you'll find that your sides you know, aren't, aren't quite flush with the edge. Now, what I did with this, I just go down the edge with the scissors like so, but the one good little tip here, if you heat up your soldering iron, don't use the tip. When this part here is nice and hot, just hold it against the wood and just drag it across. And as you can see, if you look at that, it's actually nice and flat. Right, so I'll put the uh, four sides together and I shall put the uh, aluminium pieces on and then... Right then, this is how it looks with all the uh, four sides on and the aluminium pieces stuck on with double sided tape. So now what we have to do is you get your bottom piece, put your bottom piece on hold it in place and turn it upside down and when it's like that if you just mark around your foam when you take it off it will give you the size of the piece you need to cut to go on there and that will be your bottom piece but before you actually stick that on when it's in there put your foam in loose like that Sit your quad in and see where you want your strap to actually go um, and then you can mark it, you can take it all apart and then you can cut your, uh, your slots out easier. 
but uh, that's that stage done anyway so uh, on to the next bit <laughs> yeah well I'm back again and I've finished and there it is Smoking. I gave it a quick little spray paint literally just got two cans of mint like that took all the 30 seconds to do put a couple of stickers on to make it look a little bit tidier wrap my tape around the bottom it's not really needed but you know if I'm putting this on muddy floors and things like that you know it all helps I'll show you the quad the quad is actually beside it You see, it's absolutely solid in there. So it fits absolutely perfect. It's tied down with its strap. And uh, I really enjoyed doing it. It doesn't take long to do. You can, you can make this in roughly a couple of hours. Don't take long to do. Cheap to make. And it's very strong. Well, strong enough for in your rucksack, put it that way. And that's what... Uh, what it's been made for but it's really really small I'll just show you so you can get an idea of the size I hope you can see this on the cam because this is a fixed cam so I have no idea what it's filming it's just under 12 inches and it's width it's just over 8 and 3 quarters and with the top it's just under five inches so there you go so now you can all uh, shoot off and make one yourself really easy to do so uh, have fun and enjoy